I went to my local GameStop today and I realized that they didn't open for another hour and a half. That's how my day started. On top of that, I haven't been feeling very good. But that's not what you came for. You came for Lords of the Fallen Update V1.1.379. If that's what you're looking for, you came to the right place. Jumping right into it, they state, Greetings Lamp Bearers. Today's update mainly focuses on further enhancements and optimizations. Before things heat up next week in the spirit of the festive season, in addition to this, we're delighted to confirm the rollout of several highly anticipated fixes. The first one that I could see off the bat from the last update, we went into the comments and I noticed one thing that commonly kept showing up was the autosave stutters. I don't remember this happening for me, but to others, obviously this is a big deal. So once again, last time I had the content roadmap, um, I will make sure to have that in the description as well. But moving on down, autosave stutter fix. While it took a little longer than expected due to the complexity of the issue, we're delighted to say we've applied a fix for the stuttering issue as some players with larger saves experience during autosaving. If you encounter any issues related to this fix or saved games, please reach out to their support team. Radiant ending blocker fix. Players who were locked out of Bremis Castle will now be able to properly advance with the Radiant Ending quest line. A huge thanks goes out to Black Draft, who sent his save game that helped us resolve this issue much quicker. Have to give them props, man. Lords of the Fallen team, they really, really are listening to their community. Endgame boss improvements. We saw that endgame bosses were not as challenging as anticipated. Due to those findings, we've adjusted their behavior slightly to put up a better fight. So for those of you that thought Lords of the Fallen was hard, sorry. Multiplayer experience improvements. We've improved several functionalities and added new quality of life features to enhance the overall multiplayer experience. Hmm. Upon popular demand, we've added a small glowing indicator to make it easier to spot your partner's position when they are out of sight during cold play. Yo, okay, here's the thing. I played this game with my buddy Blast and me and I always said it. I'm like, Blast, where are you at, man? Where are you at? And he would be like, I'm waving my sword, blah, blah, blah. How can you not find me? Okay, it was hard for me to find him during co-op play. And by the way, I'm happy it's not just me. Invasion areas have received a redesign, resulting in less disconnects when attempting to invade players. Lastly, the Vestige menu now offers new options for more convenient interaction. Let's see, what do they have for the Light Reaper here? The Light Reaper has received an update to his behavior to make him more in line with the late game challenges. Actually, I kind of want to go through these. Abyss Ursula has received an update to her boss behavior to make her more in line. Okay, so kind of the same thing for each of them. Okay, we got new UI updates as well. Added a new option to the Vestige menu that allows players to leave co-op sessions. Same thing for kicking co-op players. All right, cool. I think this is a really, really big update. It seems like every update, there's like one main thing that they update, you know, and then the other ones are great additions. But to me, this is probably one of their biggest updates, I would say. And that's strictly because of them doing the autosave stutter fix. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of lamp bearers out there that are happy about this news. If you are, make sure you smash that like button. Definitely make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Let me know. Does this make you happy? Are you happy with Lords of the Fallen team with how they've been rolling out updates? I've said before, I wish that a lot of these updates were done prior to the game releasing. However, it's nice to see that they're listening to the community as always, and they're making the fixes that are needed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. End game boss improvements based on our most recent tele telemetry. End game boss improvements based on our most recent telemetry. Man, what kind of word is that?